The MT30 uh, has been developed from a, an aero parent, the Boeing 777 Trent 800 engine. And we've done that in order to pull through the civil aerospace technology on, into the naval uh, application. Um, that enables us to, to deliver very high reliability and power density for the MT30. The MT30 has been developed up to 40 megawatts of, of power, which is uh, uh, the highest power available in service in a marine gas turbine today in the world. Um, it's also a very power dense product, so uh, we can fit it into a, a very small physical footprint, but again, it makes it ideal for current naval applications. So in terms of, of changes we've had to make to the aero parent in order to make it suitable for the naval environment, uh, we've kept those changes to an absolute minimum so that we continue to pull through the reliability and performance from the aero product. Uh, largely the changes we have to make are within the turbine area uh, and they're generally associated with changes to coatings to make them more suitable for the naval environment, particularly around uh, resistance to corrosion from the salt laden atmosphere but also to make them suitable for use on diesel fuels when compared to aviation kerosene which have higher sulphur content and again we need to address that to make sure that we deliver long life and reliability throughout the turbine. Other than that the product is largely common to the aero parent so it's something in the order of 80% commonality between the MT30 and the Trent 800 that it's derived from. Well the MT30 is, is derived from the aero Trent so it's a modern fourth generation gas turbine that we derived the MT30 from. So within the engine, lots of high technology items like single crystal materials, uh, advanced cooling systems and compressor material in order to again make sure that we pull through the aero reliability into our naval products. So a very similar technology that you'd see in a modern aero trend as well. So the way that we've configured the MT30, uh, that can be suitable for both electric drive and mechanical drive applications. So we have MT30 products that support electric generation and examples of that are the Queen Elizabeth class carrier for the UK MOD and DGG 1000 destroyer for the US Navy, uh, both electrical drive applications. Uh, and the engine can also be configured to drive into a, into a ship's gearbox, as you said, uh, in a mechanical drive application uh, and again we've got existing applications like the literal combat ship in the US uh, but both the, the current applications we're working on UK Type 26 frigate and the Korean frigate are also mechanical drive applications. The technology that means that makes the MT30 suitable for both those applications is that we've got the three spool architecture from the from the aero technology that allows us to have very good load following capability for the engine. Certainly it's one of the things that, that gas turbines have, have provided to the naval uh, and marine markets is the incredible power density that you can get out of gas turbines when compared to other propulsion plants. Um, and the MT30 is just the next development from that. Um, and it's the, the core that we were, we were pulling from has enabled us to really get the, the highest power unit out there into the market today. So it's really just building on that history of aero gas turbine technology and, and pulling that into the naval environment. Yeah, so as you say, Rolls-Royce has a, a long history of partnering with Japanese industry like KHI, MHI and IHI. Uh, and the MT30 certainly builds upon that relationship. Uh, and the MT30 has approximately 15% of its content currently manufactured in Japan and that includes the uh, intermediate pressure turbine which is a you know, fairly significant component with the engine uh, and again that's, that's building upon the civil aerospace relationship uh, to pull through that capability. Again Naval Marine has a, a long history of supplying products to, to Japanese M MOD and self-defence force. Um, that relationship extends back over some 40 years where we've delivered in the order of 200 engines to, to the JMSDF. That includes products as the, the Naval Marine Spey, Tyne and Olympus engines which are still in service today uh, with the Japanese MOD force and will continue to be, to be so for some time. So again Rolls-Royce are committed to support JMOD in the operational use of those engines for the future.